Um, okay, I'm Eunice. I'm mother of Isabella, who's 22 years old. And prior to Isabella um, having this regression, she was um, very articulate. She was um, working. She actually had a job in a solicitor's office. She was an independent traveler. She had lots of hobbies and she, you know, she was a great swimmer. She did lots of things, horse riding, swimming, love sports and um, socializing and um and had lots of friends and a, a really great social life and i as a parent actually didn't recognize some of the symptoms i have to say because i actually thought she was actually being difficult and i feel really bad about that because she she can be difficult at times and you know but um anyway it started with the isolation isolating herself and not wanting to see anyone didn't want to go out didn't want to do anything and um, and the thing that really triggered everything off was the day she ran out the house naked. And um, it was so alarming, this behavior. It just came out of nowhere. And it was just so, so alarming to me. And then after, and then within that week, we stopped talking. We um, all lost all our self-help skills. I mean, she was able to shower, she could cook, she could feed herself. So I'm feeding her like a baby. I'm washing her, I'm dressing her, I'm doing, you know, everything, obviously. So it was really, really so, it was just so sudden. It just happened so quickly from that time. And then we had no language at all. And then these autistic-like behaviours um, sort of um, presented themselves and there was a lot of pacing up and down pacing pacing insomnia and um, and then talking to somebody but there, there's nobody there but she's just talking to somebody and one time I actually said are you talking to somebody and it was the first time she looked at me and said yes and then went back to 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 this kind of like um, sort of catatonic state and um, and we had the speech therapist involved and she said it's beyond my help I can't I don't know what to do kind of thing here I've never seen anything like it but she agreed all those symptoms were very um, unusual so it then it became the battle to get get the help and um, it was a long journey I have to say it was a really difficult journey and so luckily for me I've worked with pediatricians before and so they were able to help me get the MRI, the blood test, the thing, because the GP didn't recognize anything. They just said I was being neurotic. And one of the things that was actually said to me was perhaps she's being sexually assaulted. That's why she's done run down the road naked. And, you know, this is a symptom. So for me, that was very distressing, obviously. So um, anyway, we finally, finally got the help. And um we're now on um, citrulline and um, I wouldn't say she's 100% because some of those autistic behaviours are still there and there is occasionally the withdrawal. So we, we don't want to sit with the family, don't want to be with the family. But I do think a contribution to that was um, lockdown, um, losing her job and also there were other losses in within the family, very close family members. So not being able to articulate that I don't know, I'm just surmising, but you know, for me, I think the loss of the job was a very big one because she loved that job. That was her whole being. And then all the things that she was doing before, they sort of stopped the swimming competitions, the horse riding, everything finished. So, and I, I think they are contributing factors. So I don't know, but the citrulline certainly that has had some improvements although it's been a lot of hit and miss so we are being monitored regularly and um i think that um yeah some of those behaviors that are still there and sometimes it's hard to get her to come back from what she's doing so and then all that self-learning she was doing before she loved history she loved you know and she was doing lots of um, online learning herself and that all that stopped and we're just starting to come back to that now 
So that's where we're at. And I'd like to thank everybody so much, particularly Dr. Santoro for answering all my emails and reassuring me and really helping me. Thank you so, so much.